understand how to create value, and remember value is the range of light to dark. We also are going to be choosing one color from the color wheel. Another name for color is also called hue, and on the color wheel you can see we have the primary colors, yellow, blue, and red, and the secondary colors, green, orange, and purple. You don't see neutral colors on the color wheel. Those are brown, black, and white. But we are going to be using black and white to create tints and shades. So you can pick any of the one of the primary colors or the secondary colors to use for your landscape. I'm going to choose a secondary color, green. So once I've chosen my color, the principle of art that we're using is called unity. We want to make sure that our whole landscape is unified. Now there are four parts to a landscape. With this landscape, the first part I'm going to draw is the horizon line. And I'm going to draw my horizon line near the bottom of the paper. This is the line that separates the ground from the sky. And obviously I drew it down so far because I want to have a lot of sky and only a little bit of ground. Once I've drawn the horizon line, then I need to decide where I want the moon. Um, the one that I looked at had the moon kind of a full moon right in the center. So I'm just going to draw a light circle right there in the center. Now once I've drawn the moon, I don't need to draw the trees. I am The next part that I'm going to do is write my name on the back and your code. And I'm going to get a big piece of newspaper. Once I've laid down newspaper, then I need to gather my painting supplies, which is a cup of water. I like to get a big paintbrush, a small paintbrush, and this type of paintbrush is called a fan brush. It's really good for painting trees and pine trees. Now I also want to get an egg carton with the paints that I need. Now remember I chose green. There is yellow because yellow and blue make green, so I want to have a couple different versions of green. But on the other side, I have white and black. Remember, to make a tint, we're gonna be mixing the green with the white. So I wanna start with the lightest color of green. So I'm gonna start with this color, it's a neon green. And I'm gonna dip my paintbrush in some white. And you can see when I mix the white with it, it turns really, really light. I can also mix a little bit of yellow, so I may have a really light yellowish green. Now remember, monochromatic means one color. So I want to use all green. Um, so now I have a light green, a medium green, a dark green. And I may even want to make one more. Make this one a little bit lighter. There we go. All right, so now I have a light green, a medium green, a dark green, and then I still have black. I haven't made the shade yet. But I'm going to mix in the lightest color green and I'm going to start with that tint of green. So now this is a really small paintbrush. At this point I may want to get the bigger paintbrush, squeeze the water out, and use the bigger paintbrush since I want to paint the whole sky. So now I'm going to dip it in that light tint of green and I'm going to paint all the way around the moon green.
Now, if you're doing a Christmas tree or a pine tree, I actually should have started at the bottom. And you can see I got a different brush. It's a flat brush, it has a flat head. And I'm going to start with the larger level at the bottom. And what you do is just kind of small little brush strokes. You're going to make rows of leaves on the tree. And I'm using the black paint, but you could use the dark green, the shade of green. technique is called dry brushing. Now if you want to add snow, you could wash out your small paintbrush or even get a q-tip if you want. And um, you can make snow if you like. Uh, there, If you're really brave, there's a technique um, called splatter painting. Splatter painting, I take two brushes and I'm going to dip my brushes in the white paint. I'm going to mix them together. It looks like I didn't wash out my brushes well enough because it looks kind of green. But I'm going to. And now what I'm going to do is gently tap. And I want to be gentle at first. But you can see I'm just tapping the brushes. And it makes kind of like little small white specks of snow. 